is this thing from At Games, the gamepad. Garbage. Trash. Well, let's objectively look at this. I've got a bunch of controllers, been gaming for many, many years. I am Todd Russell, by the way. Let's take a look at trash. Let's take a look at this controller, which I've now used for in excess of 10 hours to play. Um, you can hear it. Buttons still work good. Connects to my At Games Legends Ultimate. Honestly, this controller is far and away not compared to trash from the many other controllers that I've, I've purchased over the years. This controller, however, from At Games, it's called the Blast. This thing, this thing is, this thing is beyond trash. Not just a little trash. Here you go. This thing, it looks like garbage. I mean, this looks like a kitty toy, right? I mean, what is this thing? And the buttons are terrible. The dial, the the, the D pad just doesn't even really. It's not good. In this thing, the blast, garbage. Absolutely garbage. You want to call this thing garbage? Please do because it is. Um, it's it's just not the kind of quality that at games it should be dealing with. Um, how about this bad boy, the Atari Flashback? The Atari Flashback, which, uh, by the way, I have one of those too, right here. Here it is. The screen is way too tiny. The controls, again, those orangey kind of controllers, controls pad, it's terrible. Terrible. And it's got the Atari name on it. What? Oh, yeah. I mean, just... Atari just has, I guess, put their names on garbage, along with at games, which I get it. People want to distance their past, their sketchy past, but let me show you. <laughs> let's dive through history here, and let's look at some controllers for the next 10 minutes. Let's look at a history of controllers, because to be objective, if we want to call things trashy, we should, we should look at what trash might actually be. And what good controllers are. I have some very, very good controllers that we'll look at. Let's take a look at this bad boy. <laughs> you know, there was an obsession from the Atari days, since we're starting with Atari days, the roots, of having a joystick. Look at this controller. I mean, okay, what are you supposed to do? Dial a phone on here? Like, you know, 8675309 for Jenny or something on this thing? This controller for the ColecoVision... It's got the button up top. And this joystick is super stiff. I don't know if this is like four-way, eight-way, what way it is. But I never liked this controller. Hated it for the ColecoVision. Trash? I, I still won't call it trash. Like I said, the blast? The blast? This is my trash definition. This? Just a bad controller. Bad design. I, I'm not sure what they were going for with that. Um, yeah, a more modern look. This was for the Xbox 360. And, you know, I was really excited because I wanted to play Pac-Man on this. This joystick, wait, see how loose it is? I mean, literally, I'm just barely, I mean, it needs more give. So we got this one that you couldn't move if you were, I mean, it's like a, it's like perpetually stuck in motion. This one is, you can't move. And this one moves too easy. So for Pac-Man, which was build out, and I was excited, so I'm like, oh yeah, great, I'm gonna play Pac-Man. No good, no good. Um, so I'm gonna get weird controllers for you. Cause you think weird controllers, you think just this blast, you know, which I'm saying is crap. Again, this is the one we're saying is trash, is garbage. I'm not saying this, but other people are. Lighter weight, okay. We got plenty of designs like this, but let's talk weird controller design for a minute. And probably the weirdest of weird controller design, I mean, Nintendo comes up with some strange stuff, right? This is from uh, the Wii, it goes in the Wii, it was for a game where you put the, the, the sand in, and you're sitting here shaking? I mean, this is like a, I don't know, give me shelter for the stones or something. It was weird. It was kind of a fun game, but it was weird. 
Um, so, you know, and of course the standard Wii controller, mine's pretty dirty, I gotta clean this bad boy. But man, for bowling, kinda cool. I mean, it's a weird controller, took use to get, but that's what Nintendo does. You could turn it sideways like this, play games like that, or you could use it kind of for motion, for bowling. And you probably got good at this. Now, personally, if I was doing bowling, I'd do like the Zavix. The Zavix bowling ball was kind of my, you know, you actually had a ball to, 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 to go with. Kind of cool. But the Zavix port, nobody really remembered. Zavix's big claim to fame was coming up with controllers that looked like what they were. So the pitcher would throw a ball. Let me get rid of this here. Pitcher would throw a ball. And the batter would swing with it with this controller right here. The, what do they call that? The Zavix, I don't know. Zavix baseball bat. Kind of weird. Um, of course, we've all familiar with rock band guitars. This is the Beatles version of their guitar. Um, which, I mean, you'd have to hit down here and you'd have to hit these buttons here. And then you had the whammy here. Kind of cool. Um... Yeah, you know, but there's there's been definitely weird controllers. So Congos, remember this um, GameCube, the Congo Bongos, and the Game Controller actually is one of my more when I look at controller designs. The GameCube controller, one of my more favorite controllers, has the you know and you can see here has the little the camera one for the yellow. These buttons here, boy, this was great for games like Tony Hawk. And um, that's a GameCube controller. This is a good controller. But I thought this was one of the better controller designs. And again, compare that to more modern. Um, it has the triggers. has the triggers. But it had like an indention in the triggers, which I kind of liked. These triggers here, a little more cheap in design. Not as good on the uh, At Games device. But GameCube controller. Let's look at the first Xbox controller. This is dirty as heck right here. Um, you can tell I haven't cleaned. This is my cleaning box. I haven't cleaned yet. But the Xbox controller, bulky. It's the first Xbox controller. Look at the comparison of these two. Seriously, which one would you want to hold? Now, I'm not calling this trash, but this is being called trash. And what? Because it's just, it's bulky and weird. You know, and I never just really could get my, I mean, what do you got to be like Andre the Giant with your hands to get around this thing? It's odd. It's awkward. I never really liked the Xbox original controller. Don't know if you did. Did you? Let me know in the comments down there. Now we get some more sleek design. Obviously the PS controllers, the PlayStation controllers. This is, is this the six axis one. Yep. No, this is the, uh, what's one here? They had so many different versions. They had the six axis. They had the, um, you know, too many different controllers PlayStation has had. But I got a bunch of PlayStation controllers, tons of them. Um, more modern. Here's the Nintendo. Look at this thing. Comes apart. It's colorized, right? So you got these little tiny, you know, and these are expensive, by the way. These things are expensive. It's like 70 bucks for these these two, and then it comes with this nice little thing to make it a controller that's actually usable, right? So you, then you slide this in, which, boom, it's in like this. And now you have a controller for the Switch, which I system I love, by the way. Uh, but again, Switch controller, at games controller. The Switch controller, many would say, great controller, but look at those buttons. Very thin. Very tiny to get to. This is $70 for this thing. Uh, $60. I mean, it's not the highest quality. Seriously, people. Not the highest quality. Yeah, and, and then they have this issue with the drift. Where these drift out. Come on, you've heard about that. Issues with drift. Newer controller. $70. This one here at the At Games. So, you know. This is trash, this is garbage, but this is what? What is this? What are we calling Nintendo Switch's controller? I don't know. I don't know. So let's talk about Super NES. Let's go retro for a minute. Retro, the, this is this is the what I would consider to be, I've spent a lot of gaming hours on this controller. Fits nice in the hands, four button layout, original Super NES controller, kind of dirty, because I'm in the cleaning mode here, but here's a, here's a knockoff. A knockoff Super NES controller I bought. What is the difference? 
little bit lighter. You can see I haven't even taken it out of the plastic. I haven't even tried it. But the buttons, the D-pad does not feel as good. It's called the, the Super Pad, right? <laughs> it looks just the same. Literally looks the same. Look, cheap knockoff of this, yes. Still, is this trash? I've never tried it, don't know. But I bought four of them for dirt cheap. Thought, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Um, so now, let's go here. Let's look here. We're still retro here. Everybody know what this one is? Man, if you had the Neo Geo, if you had the Neo Geo controller, that great joke, those the four stick layouts for playing fighting games, you were somebody in the neighborhood if you had a Neo Geo, because these were pricey. I got a Neo Geo AES. Great controller, by the way. Especially for fighting games. Just, I mean, even after all these years, you can hear the clicking? It's a great controller. Great controller. Uh, Dreamcast. I know there's some Dreamcast fans out there, right? Look at that Dreamcast. Came with this badass memory card. Go through... Yeah, badass memory cards right there. There it is. Um, so I don't know. I've got a, I've got a Dreamcast. Obviously, several of these controllers. I like them. Uh, let's go. Nintendo said, "Hey, let's make a controller. Let's make a controller here that's like a more standardized." And you can tell it's dirty. Boof, dirty. I got to clean this off. Like I said, this is my cleaning pile. Got to do that. But here we go. Dirty as it may be. Um, this is the Nintendo, and actually, this is a pretty good quality controller. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I'm guessing it was way more than this. Probably $50 or $60. Um, similar to this fight stick, which was I have, which is very good. I got it for Mortal Kombat um, from Nintendo. There's a bigger picture of it. Um, picture of the back. Let's see. That's the Nintendo branded Hori fighting stick. Very good, very good quality, good stick. Uh, Steam, many, many people might remember the Steam controller. Didn't have the uh, two, two twin sticks. This was weird. People didn't like this controller. Um, you know, fight guns, time crisis, anybody play that? Great gun. Man, this is one of my better guns. I wish I could figure out how to get this working with the ALU, the iCames Legends Ultimate, because that's it's a good game. It's a good thing. So let's go behind me here and let's look in this box. This is a worse controller, by the way, than this. Um, much worse controller. Um, this is for the 3DO. If you were lucky enough to have a 3DO, I cleaned this off so it's in the bag. But you can see 3DO, very expensive when it was launched. Um, I've got a bunch of games in here. Um, it's funny, the IR, IR Arcade talks about Dragon's Lair. Yeah, well, there was Dragon's Lair for the 3DO all those years ago. You can see there, there's the disc. Um, you know, it's in here, the whole box here, the Panasonic 3DO. Let me see over here what I got. Oh, it Crash It Burn was the game that packed in with it. Kind of a... Interesting game. I showed that on another video. I have other games too. John Madden Football. This was actually a fun game for the 3DO. It's a pretty dirty box, but it's there. It works. Um, John Madden Football had some water damage from a roof. Unfortunately, some of this stuff got ruined. Um, it still runs, but it's just not the best. Not the best. Okay. Sega Saturn. Here's another controller that's kind of weird. This came with the Knights pack in. Very oblong shape. Another one that's hard to get, kind of like, I guess they were trying to rip off the Xbox at the time. Had that big, I mean, it just did not comfortable around your hands. So not the greatest controller. Um, here we go here. Another controller that was eh, subpar. The TurboGrafx-16 controller, right there. Um, and you had the turbo buttons built in for the one and two. Start, select, and then this D-pad. Still works. I have two of them. Um, and a number of cool games. Like One of my favorite games on here, Clax. You can play this on the Atkins uh, Legends product. I know you can. You know how. Um, you can play, you know, different different games. Uh, Chu Man Fu. This was a weird kind of kind of interesting game, Chu Man Fu. Uh, Splatterhouse, you horror fans. Great game. Um, this had a number of really good games on it. Um, Galaga 90. 
The big signature game for them they had was Bonk. Bonk's Adventure. Just a great game. Okay, so that controller, yeah, you know. Now let's get a little more modern. I think this is another Dreamcast wannabe controller. Bulky, big. I mean, let's compare this to At Games and this. Which one would you rather put in your hand? And this was a Dreamcast controller. Very bulky, very awkward. And then they had all this crap sticking out the back of it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, now we got, we're getting again to look at the big boys, the daddies. Here we got the PS4 controller. You can see it. <laughs> Looks like it's flashing or something. To me, for design, this is probably my favorite controller. The PlayStation controller. It just feels really good. Twin sticks. Twin sticks here, which you can wear out the rubber of these sticks. If you go in it, you can really wear them out. So it, this, to me, optimal design. Probably my favorite controller of all time. Right here, the PlayStation controller. You'll see I've been through a bunch of them. Uh, again, At Games controller, PlayStation controller. Very similar in size. This one's a little heavier. That's why I think they got the weight perfect on the PS controller. This one's just a hair light compared to this, but they're very similar. If I had a scale, I would I would weigh them both, and you'd see that this one, to me, this is the controller. The PS4 controller kind of just gets it all right. It's got the right buttons. It's got the dual sticks down here for like Robotron. It's got this pad up here. I really like this controller. Um, Xbox, I have two. I got the Xbox One wired, which is here. And I've got the Xbox wireless, which is here. Um, good controllers. No, get me wrong. I've played, done a lot of gaming, a lot of uh, Never, Neverland and some other MMO with this. And been very, very happy with this design. Feels good in the hand. Of course, we got this here. The wired version. Um, look, you know, some people don't like wired, so they go the wireless. It's more expensive. But this one, I think I bought for like $18 so or $20. So if we compare this controller here, wired, to the At Games controller, which is more expensive, again, Xbox 360 wins in a landslide. But this is not trash. I've just showed you a bunch of controllers. It's not even all the controllers I have. And this is probably like half of the controllers I have. So I think we just need to keep perspective. Um, it's funny, Stephen Haywood, I saw him on the Tech Buzz with, with Polo talking about trashy controllers. And he said, this thing's just utter garbage. He's never bought one, I don't think. He doesn't even want one. Um, well, here's the whole point, guys. The history of controllers is wide and deep. This is not trash compared to what other things At Games has done. This, again, very much trash. So, and of course the, I don't even know what you want to call this portable thing that they did. Not good. So we need to keep perspective when we talk about controllers. And it just drives me nuts a little bit when I see people just saying, just bashing on a controller, which I think is, is decent. Is it the greatest controller? It's not in the league of the PS4 controller. To me, this is the greatest controller. This stands down here, somewhere down here, maybe in the middle pantheon of it i mean it's not the dog that this was i mean this thing is a dog i mean what this i mean it's years and years ago and obviously they don't make joysticks like that again now i mean they don't do that anymore maybe they do with some really knockoff knockoff i mean we i showed you some of those i mean the old ps um the six axis i have a bunch of those those are good too um i really like the sony's sony's approach to controllers it's more minimalist it's more ergonomic I like that controller uh, way they do things. So I've shown you some controllers today. It's the At Games Legends NOD on Sunday. Go have a good time playing some games. But if you're using a controller, this one is not bad if you're thinking of buying one. Regardless of what you're hearing around there. And I don't work for At Games. It's going to sound like I'm shilling their products. I'm just a fanboy. But you've seen I buy all kinds of controllers, all kinds of game systems. And I've been doing it for the better part of 40 plus years. So I've tried everything pretty much that's come along the line as a main controller or a secondary controller. And this one's not bad. I would give it an average rating. That's, I think, fair. Calling it trash and garbage, not fair. You decide what you're going to buy on that game. Personally, me, 
I bought, I already have two of these. I was thinking about buying another one or two, but I'm holding off because it's really just me that plays all the time. My wife sometimes plays, my sons will sometimes play. I bought that BitPixel LCD because the price is just unstoppable. And I don't know with all these price shortages what's going to happen. Thanks for watching. I'm Todd Russell. I just wanted to rant about some, some controllers because it, I just think perspective sometimes is necessary. At Games Controller, my favorite controller. What's your favorite controller? Tell me in the comments. I'd like to know what your favorite controller is. I'm curious. Um, and if you think this is garbage, that's cool. It's all good. But my son, Fix-It Felix Jr., the number three world scorer right now, he did with this controller. Didn't use this which is my favorite controller. Didn't use the Xbox 360, which also works. He didn't even use one of the built-in arcade controls for Fixer Felix Jr. He used this. Decide what you like. Use what you like. Game on, baby.